Hello, I am Dr. Abhishek, Neonatologist at Uvam Hospital, Bangalore. Our quality improvement project is on reducing healthcare associated infection by using aseptic non-touch technique in intravenous line maintenance. These are my team members. We all know in developing countries, neonates acquire healthcare associated infection 3 to 20 times more than in developed countries. Devices and procedures are the important risk factors. Intravenous fluid and drug preparation and administration are one of the commonly performed procedures in NICU. Lack of standardization and failure to use aseptic precautions in preparation and administration of IV fluid or drug contribute to healthcare associated infection. So if this is the problem then the solution is to follow aseptic non-touch technique principles. Aseptic non-touch technique is based on well-defined principles on standardizing common procedures. It stresses on protection of key parts and key sites thereby reducing healthcare associated infections. So we did an audit in our unit based on aseptic non-touch technique principles and observed that there was only 20% usage of glove as well as 20% protection of key parts while close port usage and scrub the hub was non-existent. So with this, we decided to do this QI project with a smart aim to improve compliance to on aseptic non-touch technique in intravenous line maintenance to reduce healthcare associated infection by 50% from the baseline over a period of 6 months. So our objective was to form an SOP based on ANTT principles. Our process measure was to ensure compliance to ANTT that is aseptic field usage, glove usage, protection of key parts and scrub the hub. Our outcome measure was episodes of healthcare associated infection per thousand patient days. Let's look at the results. First we made an SOP that is hand hygiene, clean the tray, arrange the items required, hand hygiene, wear appropriate gloves, clean the upper part of the fluid or the drug with alcohol, scrub the hub for 15 seconds, allow it to dry for 30 seconds followed by appropriate decontamination. The study had 4 PDSC cycles. First 3 cycles ensured implementation while the last ensured sustenance. So implementation was ensured by teaching sessions involving SOP posters, videos of the steps including scrub the hub. We also ensured availability of items in pharmacy. In second PDSA we realized entry of new staff had an impact on compliance to ANTT. We had to make ANTT part of onboarding unit education for successful implementation. This is our run chart which depicts the process measure. Usage of glove as well as close part was easy to implement. Protection of key parts was initially easy but later with the entry of new step there was a dip. However, it improved when it was made part of onboarding unit education. Scrub the hub requires sustained efforts to get incorporated into practice. Scrubbing part is easy while allowing to dry dependent on sickness level of the child. This run chart depicts healthcare associated infection over 9 months in the unit. Healthcare associated infection reduced from a baseline of 25 per thousand patient days to a median of 9.4 per thousand patient days. If we had even a month where there was no infection at all in the unit. Lessons we learned with this quality improvement project was IV line maintenance by aseptic non-touch technique using QI approach led to reduction in healthcare associated infections. Scrub the hub requires sustained efforts to get incorporated into practice. ANTT should be part of onboarding unit education. I thank all my team members for a wonderful QI project. Thank you.